You know, I don't know if you're catching this here, but th this moment for Nehemiah, when he comes face to face with King Artaxerxes is a life-shaping moment for him. Seriously, this is a life-altering moment for Nehemiah. You see, he is now in the hands of an enemy country. He is serving under an enemy king as a God follower. He has worked his way up through the ranks. He is now cup bearer to the king. One day he comes into the king. The king can see that his face is downcast. So the king turns to Nehemiah and asks what is troubling him. Now, Nehemiah in this moment has a choice. He can either speak up or he can be silent. And he pushes through his fear and decides to speak up and it changes the course of everything. Now, I think just like Nehemiah, we as followers of Christ are given these moments every single day. Regardless of your age and regardless of your stage in life, you have these moments every single day. When you see a moment of injustice, you can decide to stand up or to do nothing and embrace passivity as you watch injustice happen. Or as followers of Christ, you can embrace Christian values and speak up about them when it's appropriate, or you can be silent and choose to go along with status quo. This happens for us almost every day in our country, in our world in which we live, in our workplaces and in our schools. And we are given the choice, will you speak up. And Nehemiah, I think, here gives us hope because he shows us that when God's man speaks up, that great things happen. Look at what happened in the story. In less than 60 days, the entire walls around the holy city were re-engineered and rebuilt because Nehemiah spoke up. But not only that, he did it with resources from an enemy nation, all because Nehemiah spoke up on behalf of God. Now tell me that God does not work through followers who are willing to speak up for him. This is proof here.